Hi this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel in this video we will see about what are the different types of blocks available in the terraform first we will see about the terraform block in terraform the terraform block is a top level block that is used to configure various settings and behavior of your terraform project it allows you to define global settings that apply to the entire terraform configuration the terraform block is typically placed at the top of your terraform configuration file it starts with the keyword terraform followed by the set of braces to enclose the block contents this terraform block has different blocks and attribute the different blocks include the required providers block which specifies all the providers required by the current module mapping each local provider name to the source address and version constraint for example if you are using aws as a provider need to have aws inside the required providers and then the required version argument allows you to specify the minimum version of terraform required to apply to your configuration this helps ensure that you have a correct version of terraform installed before applying changes example required version equal to greater than or equal to 0.15 that ensures the current minimum version you should be installed is 0.15 before going it with the configuration there is a backend block the backend block allows you to configure the backend where the terraform stores its state the backend is responsible for managing the state file the state information is stored in terraform.tf state which tracks the current state of your infrastructure built by the terraform examples of backends include aws s3 azure storage or local file system the specific configuration options for the backend depend on the type of backend you choose for example if you want to use s3 as a backend we need the following configuration bucket this assumes we have s3 bucket created called terraform state key configuration where the terraform state is written to here it is path to my and key and the region configuration for the aws region so this is about the terraform block now we will see about the different blocks which constitutes the terraform this is key to understand the terraform there are several types of objects or block that you can define within your infrastructure code this objects represent various resources configurations and elements that you can manage using terraform the important terraform objects are providers resources data sources variables outputs modules and locals now we will see about each of this terraform object or block in detail first we will see about the providers block providers are responsible for managing and interacting with various infrastructure or platforms cloud providers services and apis this defines the apis and credentials required to create read update and delete resources examples of providers include but not limited to AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, that is GCP and many others. Providers in Terraform are implemented as plugins. These plugins are separate executable files that extends Terraform capability to interact with specific infrastructure platforms or services. When you initialize your Terraform configuration, the necessary provider plugins are automatically downloaded and installed. addition to this providers officially supported by hashicorp the creator of terraform there is a vibrant ecosystem of third party providers created and maintained by the community this providers extend terraform support to additional infrastructure platforms cloud providers services that may not be natively supported you need to specify this in the terraform block required provider source for example if you want to create the aws cloud infrastructure as a provider create a provider block as aws and specify the region you want to connect to and can use the access key and the secret key to connect to the aws account it is worth understanding that it's a back practice to hard code the aws access key and secret key directly in the configuration here the aws provider is provided by the hashicorp that's why we gave the source as hashicorp/aws let's see another provider which is provided by the third party for example okta okta is a service which provides cloud software that helps companies manage and secure user authentication into applications here we are providing the source as okta which is a third party which is providing this and then okta this is about the providers block now we will see about what is resources 
resources are the most common object or block in the terraform this is the key block that constitutes the terraform here we are creating the required infrastructures in the name of resources using the terraform they are the core building block of your infrastructure which represents the infrastructure components that you want to manage such as virtual machines storage buckets databases networks and more each resource has a specific configuration block that defines its properties and attributes for example let's take if we want to create an aws ec2 instance here the resource is predefined you can get this from the terraform documentation aws underscore instance is the resource name for creating the aws ec2 instance which has configuration such as ami which stands for amazon machine image id and then the instance underscore type which is the instance size of the aws instance here it is t2 micro it also has optional parameters such as tags to create any resource follow the corresponding documentation which is available in the terraform official website next we will see about the data sources block the data block allow you to fetch information about existing resources that are external to your terraform configuration they provide a way to query and import the data from APIs, existing infrastructure or other external resources into your Terraform state. For example, you can use a data source to fetch information about an ID of a registered AMI to use in other resources. These resources might be already created in your infrastructure. Here, the data AWS underscore AMI is to get the AMI, which is Amazon Machine Image Information for the existing EC2 instance. There can be configuration to filter the resources executables user configuration is to limit the search to users with explicit launch permission on the image. Here it is mentioned as self which is used to denote the current account. The most recent attribute is true which is used to return the instance which is recently created and its corresponding AMI if there is more than one result is returned. The name underscore regex is the filter to filter out the name with the regular expression. One as it mentions who is the owner self mentions that is the current account ID and there are also other filters such as name, root device type and then visualization type. So we will get a single AMI ID which satisfies all these conditions. Here one key thing to notice this data block does not create any resources like resource block instead it is used to fetch information about the existing resources they might or might not be created by terraform itself now we will see about the variables block the variables block or object allow you to define parameters that can be used to parameterize your terraform code they provide a way to make your configurations more flexible and reusable variables can be assigned values directly are obtained from input files environment variables are common in arguments let's see this with an example the variable name is the identifier you can choose for your variable it should be unique within your terraform configuration and follow naming conventions here the variable name is instance underscore count if you didn't provide any configuration you can supply the value from the command line arguments when performing terraform apply Refer to my video tutorial to understand more about the Terraform apply, plan and then destroy. And here we will be providing variable value in the common line argument as hyphen var instance count equal to 2. You can use these variables in the resources or other blocks. For example, while creating each two instance, count configuration value can be derived from the variable like var art instance underscore count. When creating this resource, the value which we supply will be substituted here. Variables has this configuration such as description to describe the variable type. Attribute is the Terraform data type. Terraform supports different data types such as strings, numbers, lists, map and boolean. Here the instance underscore count data type is the number. Then the default value is 2. This can be overridden using the command line flags, environment variables or variable definition files. Terraform also supports remote state backends that can store and manage variable values securely. Next, we will see about the output block. Outputs enable you to expose certain values or attributes of your infrastructure as a result of a Terraform deployment. Output values can be used to provide information to users, pass data between Terraform configuration or integrate with external systems. The output name is the identifier you choose for the output. It should be unique within your Terraform configuration and follow naming convention. 
output block contains value argument which specifies value to be exposed as the output you can assign a static value or reference other resources data sources or variable within your configuration the value can be of any data type from strings number list maps boolean and other data types which terraform supports for example if you want to get the public ip address of the ec2 instance created by the terraform you can use the output block in the value attribute provide the resource type which is aws underscore instance dot resource name which is example and followed by the attribute which we want to get as part of output here it is public ip next you will see about modules modules are self-contained and reusable components that encapsulate terraform configuration they allow you to organize your code and promote reusability Modules can be published and shared with others either within your organization or in the Terraform module registry. Let's take we want to build the VPC for our company's infrastructure. We can use the VPC module present in the Terraform module registry. Each module has its own set of configuration defined by its developer. Here we don't want to start from the scratch like creating CID or availability zones, private and uh, public subnets and then NAT gateway and row table. Here instead of that we have this module we can readily use this module. For example in the VPC module the source configuration specifies where this module will be downloaded. Since this is from the public Terraform AWS module we are providing Terraform AWS modules slash VPC slash AWS. Version attribute defines the module version and the custom properties for this module name like name, CIDR, availability zone, private and public subnets and enable NAT gateway flag. Now with this we will be creating a VPC by just reusing the already existing module. Next we will see about the locals block. Locals are used to define local variables within your Terraform configuration. They allow you to create reusable intermediate values or perform calculation without having to repeat complex expression throughout your code. Locals value can be assigned a static value or be computed using expression. You can reference other resources, variables or data source to compute the value. For example, let's take we want to derive the instance underscore type from the variable that is if the is production boolean is set to true then use the instance type as t2 micro or else t2 nano. For this we can simply write as ternary operator and now the instance type is part of the locals and can derive the environment value from the variable and for region we can hard code it directly in the locals. And we can use this value during resource creation as a local dot attribute name. So this is about the local block. We have seen about all the important blocks available in the Terraform module. This is the basic building block of Terraform. Follow along the series with me to understand more about Terraform where you will be discussing more about the nuances in the Terraform also I will be creating multiple infrastructure using Terraform. Thanks for watching. For more technical contents like this, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends if you feel this content helped you. Thank you.